In this clip from the 1954 movie Sabrina, you'll see this limousine. This is an Imperial Crown limousine. You'll notice he has a mobile office set up in the back with actually not one, but two car phones. So in the late 40s, these car phones started appearing. Of course, it was mostly the wealthy that had them. My argument would be that's one of the reasons why they're wealthy is they adopt technology and they leverage it for their purposes. And here you can see he gets in the car and he does some business and so forth. So watch the movie Sabrina and you can see the whole clip, hear the dialogue. It's just a perfect example of leveraging technology. It's not something new. It's something that successful people have been doing for many years. So the late 40s, we had these operator-assisted phones that, and then I'd say about the late 70s or so, you started having direct dial phones. And of course, then in the early 80s, I participated in the beta test, the test of the first Motorola Dynatac phones from about uh, mid-1980 to about 1982 we did a test around the Baltimore, Washington, D.C. area. That was a blast. There were three cells around D.C., one in Columbia, Maryland, and three around Baltimore. And there were only 150 phones in the test, but they worked pretty good. They put out one watt. They were the famous, um, what they call the brick phone, which later came out the 8000X in about 1983. They became commercially available where you could actually buy them. They were about $4,000, and they were worth it. I mean, uh, they, they help with productivity. So don't skimp when it comes to technology. Buy the right tools for the job, be ahead of the curve, and it will pay off for you. So follow me at craigship.com, craigship.com, and we'll keep leveraging technology and moving forward. Thank you.